you're about to embark on a journey okay god has sent me here specifically to tell you the word journey you're about to embark on this journey because there is a destination that you're supposed to get to no doubt but it is in the journey that you're about to experience supernatural activity supernatural happenings and this is what i got you're going to be the only one who experiences these things that's right some of you guys are being taken on this journey specifically because god wants to put stuff inside of you that has never been put in anyone else at any other time in any history of any timeline of existence he wants to put it in you the only person and for the very first time you're going to birth things and bring things into existence for the very first time in human or earth history and i'm using my hands to show you this is really big okay now i'm going to tell you guys about this dream that i had now the interesting thing about this dream is that i have had this reoccurring dream for at least 10 plus years okay and i finally after 10 years of having this very same dream have been released to tell you about it. So I'm going to tell you about the dream and I'm going to come back and I'm going to give you the revelations that I got for the dream and how they could possibly apply to you. So you're outside of your home. Now you've lived in this home your whole life in the dream. When you go into the house, you go to your normal bedroom, you have your normal kitchen, your normal living room, then all of a sudden, you see this staircase and you're like, oh my God, I forgot all about that staircase. So you begin to run up those stairs and you remember as soon as you hit the top of the stairs, oh my God, there's a whole nother side of my house that I completely forgot about. So you begin to look down the hallway and you see that there are all these doors and you're like, oh my God, all these rooms that I forgot about. So you walk down the hallway, you open up a door, and you see this beautiful room. It's a spare bedroom, it has a queen size bed, there's this huge dresser and mirror. It has like a waterfall falling down into this hot tub with this pillar, and it's so beautiful. The bedding is like silk and satin, and the pillows are all decorated, and they have these rhinestones, and it's so colorful and so beautiful. In fact, the colors were turquoise and some of the colors was gold and it was just really, really immaculate. And you stood at the doorway in amazement. How can I forget this? So then you come out of this room, you go down the hallway and you open up another door. There are all types of rooms. There are rooms that you forgot were there. There were rooms that you didn't even know were there. And then you stumbled across a very small door. It was like a secret door. And when you went inside of that, it led to another part of the house that you never even knew was there. Room after room, discovery after rediscovery, you realize, I need to spend more time over here. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I need to spend more time over here. What does that mean? Well, you're about to embark on this journey of number one, it can, you could call it self-discovery, okay? Because when we talk about this house, the house represents yourself, okay? And all of these different rooms represent different aspects of yourself, okay? So as you embark on this journey of self-discovery, or like I told you, God is gonna be putting things inside of you that have never been put in anybody else in human history, okay? So for you to access that information, there are certain parts of yourself that uh, need to be accessed. And some of you didn't even know, oh, I could do that? Oh, wow, I could do that? Boom, it's going to start coming to you, okay? It's going to just like a, like I don't know, like a, a flash, like you're just gonna see something and all of a sudden you're gonna completely know. It's like every piece of information is gonna come to you in what I'm hearing, a nanosecond, where one second, you don't know nothing. You're just going on about your daily life and within a nanosecond, that's what I'm saying. Uh, you know, that's so Raven where she gets her uh, download or she gets her intuitive hit, her psychic nudge, and she flashes off and she sees what happens and then she flashes back within a nanosecond, she knows what's gonna happen. This is the same thing that I'm getting with you. In a nanosecond, you're gonna go from, I'm just sitting here chilling, regular life, and all of a sudden, God's gonna give you that flash, that insight, and whoosh, 
you're gonna go flying off into the ethers, you're gonna go to the future, you're gonna see what's gonna happen and then boom. Or for some of you guys, that's gonna be an idea and you're gonna see the whole fruition, you're gonna see yourself 99 years old with your grandchildren standing around y'all doing your celebration and then boom, you're gonna come back to present day. Like it's gonna be that fast, okay? And then you're gonna know what to do. But remember, it's about the journey. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is you're gonna be choosing some doors, okay? Because each of those doors represent something different, okay? So the, the journey of self-discovery, finding different and accessing different parts of yourself is gonna be very, very, very crucial during this next phase, okay? So we're gonna start right here on YouTube. We got three doors to choose from. Then we're taking it over to Patreon where we have three more doors, okay? So six doors in total to break down how this could apply, all right? So, ladies and gentlemen, take a second to choose your door. And of course, as I always tell you, you can listen to all of them. It's just the number you choose might be a little bit more highlighted in your life at this time. So, choose your door, and I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, so if you chose door number one, you got that old bedroom, okay? So remember in the dream, the first bedroom was that beautiful, immaculate room. It was a spare bedroom, right? It was so well decorated, and it had like a waterfall, it had a hot tub, it had this Roman column, like it was so beautiful. It was turquoise, it was gold. But let me tell you what the meaning of old room is when it pertains to dreams, okay? Dreaming of discovering old rooms may be a subconscious sign to stop and look within, to take time to reflect on what's most important to you. This can be a valuable time to consider plans you have, this is the important part, plans you have shelved that you will dearly like to pursue again. Okay, now another interpretation, listen to this. It can serve as a reminder of lost parts of yourself that are ripe for reclaiming, okay? Now, as God is taking you through this journey of self-discovery, I get journey of self-rediscovery for a lot of you guys, okay? When you were a child and there was nothing to tell you, you can't do that. And even if it was stuff to tell you, you can't do that. It's like you didn't really believe it. You didn't really take heart to it. It didn't really stick like that, right? But over time, we have taken certain parts of ourselves. We've shelved them. We've uh, put them to the side and said, you know what, I'm going to do that later, okay? So for so those of you who said, you know what, I'll do that later or I'll do that one day, this is your sign that this is your time to do it now, okay? You have been, uh, the, the door basically has been open for that part of you again. So if some of you guys, you know, you tried something before, it didn't work out the way you wanted it to, this is saying you need to go back and reclaim that room. Not only do you need to reclaim it, but you need to have that same love and that same passion because the way that that room was like well decorated, it was ready, like boom. For some of you guys, some things that you had to put to the side, I mean, I'm seeing a vision of a maid. Some things you had to put to the side because they weren't in order, they weren't organized. So let's say in the dream you had that room, but the room wasn't, it wasn't decorated, it wasn't done, none of that. And you go off, off about your life, but God sends in a maid when you didn't know. God sends an interior decorator when you didn't know. And so instead of it being an old room, um, you walk into it, it's an old room, but it has a new look. You walk into the room and instead of it being empty, God has added some things to it. There have been certain luxuries placed inside. There have been new developments placed inside. So as you walk into an old room, as you go back to an old part of yourself, you're gonna realize, wait a minute, something is different, right? Something has been added. Something about that old part of myself has been made more beautiful, right? Something from my past that I thought I couldn't do, not only can I do it, but look at all of these resources. Look at all of these different Things that have been added. I keep getting things of value, like things of value have been placed inside of you and you were not aware, okay? Let me say this again to make it clear because I'm seeing it whole, a whole way different now. Um, as God is like really revealing it to me as I'm speaking it out to you. So instead of you walking into the room and it was already decorated, you knew it already looked like that. You walk into an old room, but it's now decorated, okay? It, it had a makeover right 
it not only had a makeover, but you didn't even know or you didn't even remember that it existed. So now when you revisit something that God has already gave you, an empty room, when you go back to that part of yourself, you're going to discover, hey, wait a minute. This is better than the last time I tried it. This is better than the last that I remember. This has so much more value than the last time that I visited this part of myself. Okay, so the room represents a different as or a lost aspect of yourself that you're being asked to reclaim. So whether it's an old dream, a book you put on the shelf, whether it is, you know, some videos you were going to make, whether it was a partner you were going to reach out to to see if they wanted to do some business together, whether it is a dream of owning a home and being able to go decorate something, you know, whatever it is that you felt like, okay, I'm gonna go back to it later. This is your bell going off saying now is later, okay? And God wants you to revisit it. And it's a part and an aspect of yourself that you're going to rediscover. And not only are you gonna rediscover it, you're gonna realize, oh, this is different. This is better. I'm ready to use this. Just like that room is now ready to be used, okay? Somebody can go in there right now. You can turn that room into an Airbnb right now and start getting the value out of it, okay? So, you chose number one, that old room, you're walking back into it, but it got some new things about it, all right? So, let's go ahead and get to the next one. All right, if you chose number two, you got the new rooms okay if you listen to even a bit of number one i have touched on the fact that uh when you left this area right you forgot about this area where these you know, these rooms were as you left that area god was doing some work some renovating on that side of the house right and it may have taken so long like some of y'all have been in waiting for your dream to come true for things to manifest for so long that you completely forgot that there was even a whole nother side of the house, AKA a whole nother side of yourself that you just completely dropped because yeah, you figure it's taking too long. It might not be what I should be focused on, right? But as you were focusing on daily life, you were focusing on uh, things, God was on the other side of your personality, on the other side of uh, your, your growth and development. He was adding rooms. Now, number one, I was saying that he was redecorating some of the rooms. So when you went back, it's like, oh my God, this room looks so different. I didn't know, right? Different aspects of yourself that you didn't realize and your skills have been enhanced and you weren't trying to, you know. But for you, number two, this is extra rooms added on. So as you were going on about your life, you didn't know God added some rooms. And as you're going on this journey of self-discovery, you're going to discover these new rooms that God has added. So these are things about you that you didn't know. These are things about you didn't know you were going to get. And now you have to explore these parts. Okay, so listen to this. Um, for the dream meanings, uh, dreaming of discovering new rooms may come to you as you plan a new future for yourself and gain greater confidence, right? So dreaming of new rooms in a house can reveal that there's so much more potential in you than you realize and you're encouraged to grow into all that you hoped you could be. So yes, even your biggest dream can come to fruition. Um, for some of you guys, you dreamed a little dream back in the day and you, did, you don't know that that was a seed that you planted or it was an order put in for a construction crew to build that room. And you know, you put in the order, nobody called you back, nobody said, hey, we're on the way, this is the date and the time, no, nope. so you forgot about it. But there it is, okay? So on your journey of self-discovery, you're about to discover some new stuff that you got, right? Or I'm even getting it as you uh, have certain prayers, right? And it's been taking so long for those prayers to be answered that you just, you know? But these new rooms are also going to be answers to your prayers okay now in some cases when it comes to rooms dreams about rooms this is saying that you need more space or things are being expanded okay so you may already have something you got one side of your personality you got one part of your purpose but now it's going to be expanded for some of you guys your territory is being enlarged in general like in life you're going to get promotion you're going to uh, get a raise right uh, new responsibilities are going to be given to you right so with a brand new room 
home, yes, you know, somebody gonna have to clean it, you know, somebody gonna have to wash the windows. There are responsibilities that come with the brand new room. So just like with some of you guys, the stuff that God is about to give you now, there's going to be some new, you know, responsibility added on to it, right? But it's more space. It's expansion time for you. For some of you guys, different parts of let's say your personality uh, i keep getting it as personality like yourself because remember this is a journey that god is taking you on a self-discovery that's going to manifest as all of these different like expressions right and so for some of you guys you're going to learn how to express yourself in a way that you never had before you're going to be able to um like deliver or you're going to be able to present yourself in a way you never have you're going to be able to maybe i'm getting like you're outgoing like you're going to be more outgoing um and things are going to be magnetized towards you right because of this new development in your personality right even if god unlocks certain parts of your mind or takes you to new levels of understanding gives you deeper revelation all of these type of things are opening doorways in your mind in which when you learn new things you attract new things when you expand your mind you expand your reality right so all of these things are being given to you internally first so that you can manifest new rooms that you can actually see that you can actually sleep in and you know what i'm saying i'm speaking symbolically so like these are new things that god has given to you that you're going to be able to tangibly uh feel and touch and maybe distribute to other people okay so new rooms there is uh, i'm getting a new direction as well for some of you guys you're going to be given a new direction you just like when you walked into this other side of the house that you forgot existed and you walked into these rooms that you never even knew were there because they weren't there before uh these are a new directions and new instructions that god are gonna, is going to give you for the first time right i didn't even know that i was getting ready to go to this part of the house or go to this job or go to this new location but when i got there right so i was obedient enough to go when i was told to go i was obedient enough to leave or whatever you know if i was told to leave i walked up the stairs right walking up the stairs symbolizing you rose to the occasion you started thinking higher you thought bigger right and then when you got there you made a new discovery right and then here comes the new responsibility with the new discovery okay so when you are on this journey i just described the whole journey to you right i gave you your raven simone moment right when you go on this journey you're going to get new directions a lot of the directions are going to feel intuitive right or you're going to get your signs and synchronicities but you have to follow those this is a huge clue for number two in order to get to your new rooms you're going to have to follow in the direction that god is telling you even though the directions are new change switch these two words just came to mind right now Ooh, it's a change up Ooh, we switching it up real quick instead of you going your usual way to your usual room over there with the usual kitchen and sit in the regular regular living room i need you to switch direction real quick and i need you to go up and i need you to go down the hallway and i need you to make a new discovery that i have implanted inside of you okay is that a word implanted yeah i think so I've implanted a new room inside you. I need you to go check it out. But in order for you to get to that new room, you have to change direction, okay? So that's what I get for you, number two. Let's go ahead and let's get to number three. All right, if you have number three, if you have chosen number three, okay, you got the hidden room, okay? You have the secret room. And what I was getting for this is that this is the stuff that God put inside of you that he didn't tell you was there because it wasn't time to reveal it yet, right? Uh, have you ever seen those movies where they're picking on somebody and they're like, yeah, you're a punk and we don't like you and you suck and it's all of them, but they don't know who they're picking on? They have not seen this person in action. So suddenly when this person becomes a Marvel superhero and knocks all of them down and all laid on their back looking up at this person, it's like, oh, that was a hidden gem. That was a hidden secret about you. We didn't know who you were because we couldn't see it. So these are the things that God put inside of you that are gonna be activated at the right time so that you can get the outcome you desire or God can get the outcome he desired when he put that in you from the beginning, okay? Again, let's take this reference. You have 
a secret set of skills. When he said I'm taking, he said I got a particular set of skills and you're gonna be sorry later. He gave them the premonition. He took them from the beginning. Listen, this is what I got. And here's gonna be the end result, okay? And what old boy said, he said, good luck, right? So for some of you guys, you may have spoke on things. You may say, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna be that, right? And you didn't know that these were actually going to manifest in a great grand way, although they've been implanted in you. And even you not knowing, the people around you did not know as well, right? So you may have had an inkling, you may have gave a premonition, one day I'm gonna be this, one day I'm gonna be that. And everybody said, no, you're not, you a punk, you a lame, you ain't gonna do nothing, and they clean you and You know what I'm saying? And, and God hid them, hid those special skills, those special gems, long enough so that when they do come out, everybody got to back up. I don't know why I'm getting Jeezy. He said, you know, I'll pull it out the pants in order to say everybody back up. You know when you pull it out, if everybody, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Right? It was a secret. He had a secret weapon on him that allowed for him to have the upper hand as the outcome. Right? And so for some of you guys, this is exactly why God hid these things. So that you can have the upper hand in the long run. Now, if you come out the gate, listen, everybody back up. You know, you pull, you pull out these secret gems at the wrong time, then it's not as effective, right? It's like, let me, let's sit back and let's let everybody push that person around for a minute. Let me, let me let people reveal who they actually are and how they actually feel about you so that when it is revealed, they're already back. They're already laid on their back. They already know I can't be next to that person because the way I just came at them, okay? I hope this is shaping up and making sense, okay? So if you chose number three, you have a hidden part of yourself. And it's so interesting to me because as I was preparing this, I kept thinking of all kind of butterflies and flowers, like, oh, they got a secret flower garden. Oh, the butterflies. But as I'm speaking, God has given me all these pictures of, Jeezy, everybody back up. Oh, they put picking on you, they picking on okay, bow. Everybody fall back. You know, you didn't know they had that skill. And then I'm getting things like upper hand. So this, number three, you got hidden stuff inside of you, hidden strength for your enemies. That's just the way, and I didn't expect to turn to this. I just got to go with, 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 with the flow, okay? So, so number three is the reason why God hid certain things inside of you that not even you know about is so that you can have the upper hand over your enemies. These are secret weapons, okay? So the secret rooms in the dream represent secret weapons that God has given you to defeat your enemy or to at least make your enemies think twice. Hey, you might want to back up off me because you see it's some secret things about me that you didn't know and you will be laid on your back begging for mercy if you don't, you know what I'm saying, voluntarily step back. What he say is get out or lay down, okay? So take this how it applies. Now, of course, these weapons don't have to be physical weapons. It could be the power of your voice, the power of your influence, the power uh, that you have maybe in a community. I keep getting a sense of power because in each of these scenarios, whether it was the person with the perspective of skills, whether it was Jeezy pulling something out the pants, making everybody back up, you know, they got a particular set of uh, weapons that gives them power. Okay, does that make sense? Whatever it is that is secret or hidden about you that God is about to reveal to you on your journey, it has a lot to do with giving you power. Because remember, I keep getting, you get the upper hand over your enemies. How do you do that? You gotta have some power. So whether it's supernatural power, whether it's the power of God himself filling you up, whatever type of power that's coming with these new gems or hidden rooms or whatever it is that's coming in for you, it's going to give you some power over your enemies and they're going to have to back up. Now this took a, number three, y'all, y'all took a little bit of a turn. And it's so amazing because the way I'm even describing it is a manifestation of how it's going to happen. I'm thinking, oh, it's all sweet. Look at number three, butterflies and roses. Oh, yeah. And then as soon as I thought I was going to come to you on some butterflies and roses, I got to back up. Excuse me, number three. I didn't, I didn't know you had all of that. I didn't know this is what this was about to turn into, okay? And this is exactly how the manifestation is. Somebody coming at you thinking, sweet, oh, look at number three. I'm gonna take advantage of them. I'm gonna manipulate them. I'm gonna do all, I'm gonna run them. 
They got all these sweet butterfly thoughts. Like, I'm finna get you. Okay. Yeah, it's all sweet over there. You all nice and kind. Look at you. Probably weak. And then they come over there. Ooh, la, 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 la. Wow. I didn't know. And God activates that secret room. Okay? God activates that secret room inside of you. So, that's what I get for number three. That took a turn. Wasn't expecting that. But, hey, it is what it is. Okay? So, let's go ahead and let's wrap this up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I get over here on YouTube. But we are about to extend these vibes and take them over to Patreon, okay? Remember, God is taking you on a journey of self-discovery. And there are some rooms within you that you're going to discover, rediscover. You're going to be told special revelations about things that are going to unfold in ways that you probably didn't anticipate. But that is okay because it's all a part of the journey, all right? So... Thank you guys for watching. If this is where it ends for you, I appreciate you all so much for all of your, your love, your kindness, your shares. Um, I haven't been on in a minute, so share this video. Tell somebody about the channel so that uh, we can get back in the algorithm. You know, you got to... You gotta say, hey, that algorithm, I'm back. Cause sometimes I could be a little cringy. So, um, you know, share this video, tell some people about it, like it, comment to get it back going, you know what I mean. Um, so again, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Subscribe to the channel. And for everybody else, I will see y'all over on Patreon.